Hello, you're watching Tell It Like It Is, and my name is Kathy Bennett. And once again, let me introduce you to our new set here at Castle Hill Media in Bedford, New Hampshire. A big change for us, but one that was coming and one that I know you'll like. And you'll see us kind of play around with this set a little bit in coming weeks, too. Um, but the main thing is we'll be getting our shows to you quicker, and we'll be getting our shows to you with oh, maybe a lot less red tape than we had to deal with when we were taping elsewhere. Today's show will be kind of a fun one, I think, and the title of it is The Truth Behind the Bedford Men's Club. <laughs> and my guest today is none other than the president of the Bedford Men's Club, Jeff Benson, who with the new set you can see sitting here, you don't have to get a surprise like who's our guest today. And you will see his name up on, uh, on, on camera when you're watching the show along with his email address if you want to reach him. But the major reason that I, I asked Jeff to be here today and why the show is called The Truth About the Men, Bedford Men's Club is because, you know, every single year during the holiday season, there's an annual, what has turned into a Bedford institution, and that is the Bedford Men's Club annual Christmas tree sale. Now, for years, uh, and I don't even know how many years, and I'm not even sure if any of the current members know how many years, but for years it was held outside of the Bedford Mall, but in, in many recent years it's now in, in the front parking lot of the Bedford Village shops on Route 101. Now, lots of places sell Christmas trees. We know that. Um, including here in Bedford. And, and I guess there might even be a nonprofit or two that sells trees. But why this sale should get special notice is because of what it does, what it makes possible in the town of Bedford. And this all kind of plays back to that whole The Truth About the Bedford Men's Club title of the show. Because let me tell you a little bit about the Bedford Men's Club. For a lot of years, and, and for those people who have been in town forever, know that it originally started out as the Bedford JCs, but 1976 became the Bedford Men's Club with the slogan, the BMC, belonging means caring. And care they did, because ever since then, they literally have raised thousands and thousands of dollars year after year that they very quickly not only raised, but turned around and almost immediately gave back to the community. And they've done this primarily through two major fundraisers each year, the uh, golf tournament that they have in the summertime, and obviously the Christmas tree sale at this time of year. And I think what I find particularly impressive about the club and why that I say that, it, that it's special is that they do get, they raise this money and virtually turn around and give all of it away. Um, to, to many different causes and, and programs in Bedford that probably wouldn't exist if it weren't for the Bedford Men's Club help. And, you know, I find that tremendously impressive because there are organizations in town, and including some of which I'm involved with, who do make some donations every year. Um, not huge, but, you know, make some small donations every year. But they don't give out all the money they have. They maintain very large bank accounts um, that is not serving the community in any way, shape, or form. And the men's club does not do this. The men's club year-round is funding things as they needed to be funded, when they need to be funded. And as I said, they're not maintaining this big bank account, but earning money through their hard work and turning around and putting it right back into the community, which is why I wanted to do this show, because what I really want to come out of it is for you to learn about the men's club, to learn about what they've done with their money, and to then go out and support this Christmas tree sale, which is, again, why I, I asked Jeff to come in and talk about it. So, Jeff, with all of that, I asked you, because I, I knew some of the things that the club has supported. Um, I know last year, for example, the Bedford Men's Club pushed over the top the, the funding for the IUOK program right, that was yeah. going to help the, the senior residents in town, a new program put out by the Bedford Police Department. Right. And I had asked you for, you know, a printout of just some of the things because, it, again, I know some of the things you've you funded and the school groups and the youth groups and so on, um, but I knew that I certainly didn't have a, a full handle on it. And, you know, for those of you who are watching, I mean, you can see the, these three sheets right here that just represent recently. 
and I, I'm going to read off some of them to you, and I want you to jump in anywhere you want to talk about any of these. Um, something that I never knew they did, they've always done silently, never, ever looked for one inch of publicity for this, is that a thousand bucks at a time, they're turning over money to the school nurses here in Bedford in gift cards for the nurses to be able to, at their discretion, be able to distribute to families who might need some help. And, and we all know, you know, um, school nurses do have intimate knowledge of families um, and, and what they might be going through. So again, with no fanfare whatsoever, every year they're handing over, I mean, they've handed over thousands of dollars that the school nurses then can look at a family and know maybe dad lost his job or mom's been in the hospital or one of the kids is having a big challenge or whatever and they can give that family a gift card to maybe make their Christmas a little brighter or their Easter a little nicer and I was very impressed by that because I never even knew it existed till I asked them for the spreadsheet. Well, it's, you know, we've, <clears throat> we've always done that and it's one of those things we really haven't publicized it's just the right thing to do I mean this mm -hmm. time of year especially those people who need it and mm -hmm. who knows better but you know people inside the schools exactly. they know you know what families are in need and frankly we don't want to know um, mm -hmm. we don't you don't even know where they're going we don't need to know where it goes we yeah. just need, we know that it needs to be given mm -hmm. so that's why we do it and i mean that's fabulous because i mean today we all know you know there are lots of people in bedford who have lost their jobs or who have managed to find another job but not at the same rate of pay yeah. Um, we all know there have been foreclosures in Bedford. I mean, Bedford's not immune. We're not in a bubble. Um, what's going on everywhere else has affected people in town here, too. And it's rough. It's rough when you have a family and, and you know, trying to just make ends meet when you've got a bunch of kids. Yeah, I mean, it's it, it's hit everybody, you know, in different um different ways, but that's what we're here for. We're that's here right. that people need help, they need to know that we're out there and they can come to us. And this is something, again, that I was very impressed by, never ever knew that they <clears throat> did that. And, you know, a, a reason for you to go down, and even if you don't need a Christmas tree because you already got it, or because you prefer an artificial tree, that program alone is worth you going down and saying, you know what, that's a neat thing, and maybe throwing in a 20 bucks as a donation to them, and it will mean another kid gets a gift card right here in Bedford, you know, and again, let me emphasize, right here in Bedford. Anyway, I'm looking over this list, and I see virtually every school in Bedford you have supported at some time or another, um, you know, Ross, uh, the Lurgio School, multiple times you, you've given them $1,000, $1,200, and so on for Stand By Me programs. Yeah, the Stand By Me program, anybody who's had a child go through that, uh, mm -hmm. which my first ones did a couple of years ago, uh, it's it's amazing. We've always given to it. I've never had a chance to go because mm -hmm. I didn't have the kids, but um, now that I've gone to it, it's, it's it's the most amazing program for both parents and children. Mm -hmm. And we've often sponsored the keynote speaker, and we love doing it. I mean, it's mm -hmm. just it's it's a great program for both children and, and their parents. Well, I mean, I see that, I, and that as I said, that's the Lurgio, of the high school. You've my gosh, I mean, I don't know how many different things you've supported over there. Um, everything from the new crew club. Um, the drill team, um, uh, different sports, of uh, sporting um, yeah, I, I efforts, th and I, so on. I think that the, it's just one after another. Well, the the average citizen doesn't understand how many things are going on at the high school. Mm -hmm. When we were kids, there were you know fifteen or twenty programs that you could take part in. Now, yeah. the list is three or four pages long that kids can do, and they all need they all need funds. And if you go, anybody who's gone to the budget meetings understands mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. that's the first thing that people do not want to fund is, is things that Extra they don't see. Right. That's right. You know, if they that's can't right. see it, they don't want to fund it. So um, we're happy to step in and, and help buy a, um, a cox and box for the, mm -hmm. for the crew team or, or um, uniforms for, um, you know, different, different mm -hmm. types of teams and organizations. You know, we're here to do that. Well, I, and I see, too, even like FIRST Robotics which, you know, is, is a, a growing thing every year, and I think that's part of the whole process for anybody who wants to participate in FIRST is they do have to find their own sponsorships, don't they? Uh, they, they fundraise on their own. Yeah, they, that's what um, I thought, the and, kids, yeah. And there are some corporate sponsors, but again, they're, mm -hmm. they're the ones mm -hmm. going out and getting those, and, mm -hmm. and up to 50 kids, I heard, um, they, they just came into us last month. 50? They have that yeah. many now? Well, you know, it starts small, and as the, pro as the project progresses, mm -hmm. more and more kids come in and want to be involved. And again, you know, to get kids interested in science and math, you know, yes. that's, a, 
Yes. It's a great cause. Yes, and I see that uh, the Students Against Destructive Decisions, which used to be what Students Against Drunk Drug Driving yeah, a long time ago so said, yeah. You know, the world has gotten exactly. to a worse place. Exactly. <laughs> and, uh, you know, and that, that's at Lurgia, right? Yes. Is it Lurgia School, yeah, because it wouldn't be at the younger kids so much, hopefully. <laughs> uh, but I but I do see that all of the schools, I mean, Peter Woodbury, you kicked in for the new playground, um, which is kind of a really neat thing over yeah, there. And, nice, yeah, Yeah, and I, I mean, that's one of those things where even the kids helped to raise yep. money for that, which was kind of pretty impressive. And if any of you haven't been over to the Peter Woodbury playground, you know, drop over and take a look at it. It's really neat, um, especially when you know how, how much the kids themselves were yeah. involved. And I mean, again, I mean, I'm going through this, and virtually every single school, I believe, in Bedford, McKelvey, uh, Riddlebrook, I mean, one by one, go through them all, and at some point in time, you've regularly funded projects that they've had, and all different types of projects. Um, every sports team, I mean, I, I'm looking at this, and I'm not seeing a single youth team that's not represented on here, um, whether it's the Bedford Bobcaps or the Blackflies or the Hornets or Babe Ruth or Little League. I mean, just go down the whole list of virtually every single team in town. At some point in time, the men's club has written a check to them. One of the things we like to do is not necessarily give or, or provide general operating money. We like with, mm -hmm. when people come to us for, for specific needs, mm -hmm. like when they're building the dugouts or putting up lights or, um, you know, occasionally if a team is going unexpectedly t on a, to a tournament that mm -hmm. they may have gotten invited to because of their uh, achievements, mm -hmm. you know, we like to try to help out with those things. So, um, and not only do we provide funds, but uh, we did help um, build dugouts on, uh, I forget which field it was, but, you know, we, we've donated our time too. A lot of the guys are handy. We've got all walks of life are in the men's club, and so there's talents on everything from IT to construction oh, to true. you know finance to uh, I mean, you name it. There are you know firefighters, mm -hmm. EMTs. Everybody's uh, in the chief has even dropped by um, you know to attend a meeting. And actually, we have um, the Manchester Police Chief in our in our organization. I know, so, I know, yeah. So you know, which this, is neat. We've got a diverse group, and we're here to help. Whether it's with you know raising money and, and mm -hmm. donating it back or donating our time. Um, and membership is open to any male who lives or works in Bedford. Yes, you've got to be 21, um, mm -hmm. but live or work. So we, we do have, or we did have a couple of members that were just, um, they, they had the work side of Bedford, mm -hmm. and they both uh, took different jobs out of town, so they, mm -hmm. they had to leave the club. But yeah, when we were open to anybody. Which is great, because yeah. I mean, there's a lot of camaraderie there. Yeah, I mean, it's a good, it's a good social thing. It's a good networking yeah. opportunity. Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, it's yeah. it, it's part of the fun. You know, and one of our meetings we and had. The, and, the, and the female side even gets to go to some of your parties and things. Yeah, yeah, we too. have the Christmas party, actually, the summer some party. Ones. We, had a, we had a good um, um, Patriots party there back a couple oh, that's months right. ago. Yeah, yes. that was good. Yeah. <laughs> uh, now, and, you know, again, and it's not just the kids you're supporting. Um, and, and I do want to get that across. Um, you know, again, they're, they're giving tremendous amounts of money to all of the schools in town, to all of the various youth groups and sports teams and so on. But, you know, like I mentioned at the beginning of the show, the Are You OK? program, which is designed, you know, sincerely for, for more of us senior citizens to give them that little extra protection. Um, the men's club bought rescue dummies for the Bedford Firefighters Association. I mean, these are things that aren't in the budgets that, you know, our, our public safety people would not have um, without their work. I know that you've also gotten defibrillators for the Bedford Police Department yeah. that now our, our police officers can carry around in cruises. And, and in fact, I believe I weren't a couple of them recognized yeah. last year for saving a couple I, of lives yeah, with I, those I, defibrillators? I know that um, I know of one instance where they where they have been they were deployed and and I think made the difference. Um, mm -hmm. I don't know about any others, but I mean even one. I know that if anything ever happened to me, <coughs> it'd be nice to know mm -hmm. that I didn't have to wait for the ambulance to get there. Yeah, that the police exactly, out. exactly. Uh, because sometimes they're right in the neighborhood, whereas obviously the ambulance has to get yeah. dispatched out. And in an emergency, I mean, that, minutes make differences. That's a no-brainer. You know, yeah. I mean, the police are around town, everywhere, at all times. Mm -hmm. And so, if 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 you've got life-saving life-saving equipment mm -hmm. inside those cars, I mean, it, it's a no-brainer. And mm -hmm. I and I understand they need two more. So, you know, we'll talk about that and try to raise some money for those. Yeah, because again, it's not even in the town budget proposal. Yeah, which, which kind of staggers me. Yeah, but, I mean, you know, that's my thinking. <laughs> now, I, I know that um, another thing that you were very instrumental this year, I believe, was Destination Imagination, right? 
Yeah, we. Uh, that's another. Um, again, it's another organization that kids get involved, and in, and in they're doing the line. They're doing all the work for mm -hmm. um, um, their projects, and mm -hmm. they go to uh, the nationals if they you know reach certain goals. And so when they do. Now we did have some Bedford kids go yes, to the nationals. Yeah, correct? actually, we had two or three teams, and I really? apologize for if I don't remember <laughs> the correct number, but uh, we did give to to all the teams. I think it was three teams, and wow. they went down um, down south, and we gave to all three teams so that they could go down and. That helped pay for the trip. Absolutely. And, Amazing. And compete. Amazing. A a and again, I mean, I'm looking through this list, and I'm sure that if any of you ever wanted to check, well, have you ever given to the whatever, you know, you could send uh, Jeff an email, and, and my bet would be that he'd be able to say, oh, yeah, we gave to the Bobcats, or we gave to the swim team, or we gave to the Jaguars, because I'm seeing all of them listed here, um, literally. Um, and, and also to other organizations, you know, like... I see that you you know you have made sizable donations to places like the Joppa Hill Farm yeah. um, and uh, Camp to Allen. the Camp Allen, yep. and again, so I mean Eagle Scout Project. I can see that you, you gave a sizable yeah. donation to that. Yeah, I mean you know when the when the Eagle Scout projects come around, they not only have to do all the work, they have to find the funds, they have mm -hmm. to you know they have to do everything. They have to account, do the accounting for their project. They mm -hmm. have to provide you know provide the materials they have to do everything so it's it's nice to see them going through that whole mm -hmm. it's almost like a small little business to get mm -hmm. the job done. Sure. so so when somebody like that comes to talk to us uh, you know that's right up our alley you know to help them get the job done and from what I've gathered I mean you don't put people through kind of a third degree fill out 500 forms either you no. know you recognize a, a, an organization in town for their work and decide how you can help them and you just do it yeah, one of the things that we really like to do is when people are going to come I'm and present, sorry. regardless of the organization, mm -hmm. we want people to come and present to us to well, tell us about their organization yeah. so, they, so that we can meet them, sure. find out what they do. Sure. And if it's a kid's organization and I get contacted by maybe their coach or maybe mm -hmm. you know, the, 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 the adult that's, that's helping manage the project, I always ask if they could bring the kids in to mm -hmm. present. It's, oh, yeah. great. it's yeah, great experience nice for them, yeah. Yeah. and I'll tell you, every time I see a, a, a group of kids come in and do that, they are so far above where we were as kids. Mm -hmm. I mean, these kids are so comfortable. A lot of them are very comfortable speaking in front of people. Some of them aren't, but you can see after they're mm -hmm. done, they're mm -hmm. proud of what they've done. Of course. And it's, it's really great to see. So that's, yes. we do ask that people come in. And the members will ask questions, and one of the things we want to make sure is that um, you know, if it's a $500 item, we're happy mm -hmm. to pay for the $500 item. But if it's a $10,000 item, we're happy to give to that. But we want to make sure that, that they're working towards their own Absolutely. goal. Absolutely. Yeah. And, and they're yeah, not it can't be just right a there. gimme, gimme. Right. Exactly. Yeah. So, yeah. And, and organizations do. I think around here we've got a lot of community spirit and a lot of community organizations doing a lot of work and working hard at it. Well, as I said, the men's club, I mean, I find it so impressive because basically you, you're not keeping a treasury as such. Well, you're, I, you're raising money and pushing it right back out that door again. I will correct you just a little bit. We try to give everything away, mm -hmm. but... Um, well, right you have now, to have a little bit of money well, for operating Right now we actually expenses. have a pretty good balance, and, and we're actually looking for different projects to get involved in to get that money, uh, to give that money away. We don't sit on it for the sake of sitting on it. Exactly. If we have it, we have it, but right, you right. Know, so right now we happen to... Um, have a pretty good balance, and it just hasn't been a lot of requests. And this may open the floodgates. Ironically, <laughs> well, ironically, when the economy went south, yeah, yeah. A, the requests slowed down, hmm. and you would have thought that it went the other yeah. way. So that was kind of something that surprised. Well, us. most people so, had the mentality that nobody had the money. Right, that could be. And you know, we don't exactly want to go out and say, "Hey, you know, well, we got sure, all this money. Well, sure, yeah, yeah. Um, But we do have money that we want to put to good for use. Legitimate back in the, yeah, for for yeah. for the. Uh, residents of Bedford to make and you mentioned the defib. I mean, that's a great one. Yeah, I mean, we want to yeah. make Bedford a better community. Yeah, yeah. You know, one of the things uh, before we do run out of time, it I can personally attest to the fact that this club just doesn't go out, you know, looking for people to give them money. They work for their money, and this whole Christmas tree sale. Um, I had the pleasure of going down and watching on Saturday, this past Saturday when they had their unload, as they call it, and this great big, huge tractor trailer pulls in. Controlled that chaos. It, it, well, it, hey, I'll tell you, it was very controlled, though. Everybody seemed yeah. to know exactly what they were doing, you know? And this big tractor trailer pulls in, and it is full of Christmas trees. And as it's pulling in, there's a whole crew of Bedford Men's Club people standing there, 
ready to unload. They unload that truck tree by tree. And I'll tell you, those trees are big and they're heavy. Yeah. And they all have to come down off the tree, you know, be cotted down, come down on the ground, and then be placed, um, you know, in, in areas by size and such, and then ultimately come over to the racks where if you were going to buy one, you'd be able to see the rack. So all this activity is going on. Meanwhile, people are doing all kinds of other things. I mean, this is hard, dirty work, let me tell you. Meanwhile, you know, there are people hammering together the stands and stringing the Christmas lights it's and quite a putting production. an antenna on the trailer. Mm -hmm. And I mean, it's, it's... Well, that's for the TV, so we uh, well, yeah, but no yeah, Well, we yeah, so, you know, you got to watch TV. <laughs> um, but I mean, there's all this humongous activity going on, and it a lot of it is very back-breaking work. And these guys are out there, and it was cold on Saturday. I can tell you that. It was cold. It was windy. windy. Very windy. I mean, it made that wind chill factor Ugh. wicked. And you got to remember that the sale doesn't end there. I mean, it goes on until all the trees are gone. In That's fact, I'm going to give you the details so that you will go down there. But, you know, again, they're at the, the Bedford Village Shop parking lot, which is right on Route 101. Every day, Monday through Friday, 4 to 9 o'clock, you can go down and pick out a tree. Saturday and Sunday, they're there from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. That takes a lot of people, literally. So that every, before this is all said and done, every single member of the Bedford Men's Club has worked on this sale. This is a huge labor effort, huge. And again, it's their big fundraiser, and they're all down there. And even though everybody was freezing the other day, yeah. everybody was having a good time, full of smiles, joking around with each other, and the thing went like clockwork. I mean, everybody was just focused and knowing what they were doing and such. And people need to know this. You know, I don't know if you have visions that this truck pulls up and a whole bunch of, you know, Teamsters unload and the Bedman Men's Club comes along and goes, oh, yeah, this one's $30 or whatever. No. They're doing the work themselves, and you need to support it because, again, what they're bringing in, they're putting right back out into the community. So, you need, you know, you need to get down there. I said that it was fascinating watching it, and that's the first time that I ever did go down and watch that. How the heck many trees were in that in that truck? 465. You know that, right? Yeah. And, it, and you probably touched every one of them in the course of them. Most of huh? them, yeah. And they were big. I mean, some of those were pretty big. What what height did they go up to? They go from six to nine feet. Wow, that's big. Yeah, they're a big. Yeah. And I mean, some of these things you, you can see the guys oh, kind of. Fortunately, it didn't rain the night before. Which oh it, my you know, god! Every couple of years oh yeah, the we, oh the water weight. Yeah, that'd make it even bad. worse. Yeah. yeah. Now I know there's a very interesting story about, and I'm using the wrong word because you don't breed trees, but you do something to make trees grow. <laughs> You can yeah, tell I'm a farmer, right? There's an interesting story, though, about what kind of trees they are that maybe well, people should know. Yeah, we're, we have two kinds of trees. We have balsams, mm -hmm. and we have what's called a frolsum, and it's a hybrid of a balsam and a Fraser fir. So they call it a frolsum. A frolsum, yeah. It, uh, the, balsams are, the, the balsams have the more aromatic um, yeah, scent, yeah. and the Fraser fir is a little more robust tree that, that the needles are retained better. And so, so we're in tree terms farms, of if somebody wants to get their tree now, it's not all bare by yeah. Christmas time. Yeah, a lot of that okay. is weather-driven. Most of it's well, weather-driven. Yeah, but uh, Weir Tree Farms in Colebrook, they actually created their own hybrid of a wow. balsam and a Fraser fir. And, and this they is what you're getting. Balsam. Yeah. That's neat. They're a little more expensive, you know, but yeah. people love them. And they're beautiful. I mean, they yeah, really they are, are beautiful yeah. trees. You know, I, and when I saw them, and all of them, I mean, every tree that I saw was nice and full looking. I mean, yeah, very, they're, very they're nice. Really nice trees. They were. They were nice. And if I could just take a second to thank Absolutely. the Bedford Village Shops and especially Technique. You know, we're in their parking lot, yes, and yeah. he does a really good business, mm -hmm. uh, and, and we're taking up, you know, some of mm -hmm. his parking spots, and we understand that. But they're very nice to us. They're very kind to us, and we really appreciate everything they've done for us. Well, that's nice that you did that because, again, it takes a team effort. It, it's a community yeah. effort, and they're yeah. part of the community, and, and if yeah. just letting us be there, you know, it helps us raise that money that gets it back into mm -hmm. the community. Mm -hmm. So we really appreciate it. Um, you know, we're almost out of time. Is there any one of these different projects that you have in mind right now that you know about that you want to let people know? Or that you're still you're kind of still no. in the looking project when no, people but, are You know, my email address for the club is you, right? president. Yes, and we will put that on the screen, by the okay. way. And feel free to email any ideas that anybody has. We'll okay. certainly take them under consideration, and, and I will get back to whoever um, sends me an email. I'll respond to them, and maybe we'll get them into one of our meetings, and we can discuss That'd be great. some ideas. That would be great. Well, one of the things that I want to do is, you know, I'm a great believer that if, some, if you're going to ask somebody for help, 
and you accept help from somebody that somewhere along the line you need to kind of turn that around and go help who helped you and you know i'd like to be able to sit here and name off every single one of these groups but there's not enough time it would take a show by itself uh, but when i do say that every single bedford school has benefited from the bedford men's club funds i believe every single bedford youth team sports team has benefited from the bedford men's club um, it appears as though every Bedford institution as such um, has benefited from the money of the Bedford Men's Club. Um, Bedford Town Government, which means we the taxpayers, have benefited from the Bedford Men's Club, you know, whether it's the fire department, the police department, or what have you. Um, so, you know, if you look at the whole community, all of these organizations who are out there doing things and, and raising money or trying to raise money and so on, Every single one of them, in some form or another, I saw a link to the Bedford Men's Club. So, you know, my thinking is this. Let me put out the challenge to you. You know, if you want their help and are willing to take their money or are willing to benefit from the work they do in the community, then this is the time of year that you need to trot on down there and give back. And that means, you know, trot on down to that parking lot and get your tree from them. And if it costs a couple of more dollars than some cheap tree somewhere else, so what? You know, you can afford a couple of more bucks at Christmas, especially when you know it's coming back into the community. And, you know, again, if you have kids who have benefited from something they funded, or you yourself have, or what have you, or you work in a place that benefited from money they gave, you know, it's time for you to pay it back, even a little bit. And if you don't have a live tree, or you already got your tree, then go on down and say, hey, thanks, guys, and throw in 10 or 20 bucks as a donation. Because you know what? It's going to come right back at you when they turn around and start writing their checks again. So it's an important cause to, to, to really support. And I think it would be a heartbreak if a couple of weeks from now there's a single solitary tree standing <laughs> in that packing lot. In fact, I think what would be great is if in a couple of weeks... Um, we saw an announcement on the Bedford Men's Club website, which you can all visit, and will also be up on the screen, that they sold out, that they sold out no later than like December 15th or something. Would that be fabulous? And look at it this way. It makes them start fabulous. working in the community all the quicker. That would be um, and not only that, but you know, these guys are standing out there in the cold, and not only are they standing out in the cold, but they help you pick up the tree. They wrap it up for you. They put it on the roof of your car. They do it all. They do it all, but bring it home and put the lights on it for you, for crying out loud. So go down and support them. It's that time of year. And, the, and I think it's worth the show all by itself to say support the Bedford Men's Club because they've supported you. And with that, I do want to say again, um, they are there every day, 4 to 9 o'clock, Monday through Friday, 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. Saturday and Sunday. And any of you gentlemen who are out there who would like to participate in the men's club, I understand um, a little different meeting than usual will be held on Monday, December 10th, when you will be meeting at the River Road Tavern. Um, which is down across from the Country Club at 7 o'clock. And at that meeting, anybody who's interested in possibly becoming a member can attend that meeting. So if you want to think about that, yeah, shoot an email to and Jeff. And, yep. and we'll talk about the club. You know, we, we meet every second Monday of every I month know, except yeah. December because we're yeah. selling trees. But this month, one of the members was like, hey, instead of a member, let's, uh, instead of a meeting, let's go down to the River Road Tavern, sure. watch a little Monday Night Football, and, and just hang out. And, and so hey, anybody stand wants out to in the cold, you deserve that. You guys, you, know, you guys deserve a lot more than that for your work, seriously. Well, thank you very much, by the way. Hey, I, I just hope we, uh, you know, get a lot of people who maybe didn't have it in their mind or maybe didn't know it was the Bedford Men's Club or maybe didn't know what the Bedford Men's Club does will say, hey, you know what, they do a lot for us, time for us to support them and go down and buy their tree. And again, if you already have a tree, what the heck, you know, write a check, give them 10 or 20 bucks because you know they're going to turn it around and, and support something that benefits you or benefits your kids. All right, so do it. And that's telling it like it is. You know, don't take unless you're willing to give. Jeff? Thank you, Kathy. Thanks for being Thank here. Thank you very much. Thank you. And... We'll see you soon to give you another version of Tell It Like It Is. And again, go down and get a tree. Till next time, bye-bye. <laughs>